Yeah, hi guys, uh, my name's Ian Walker. I run Lilydale Engine Reconditioning up in Launch and Blaze now. Uh, probably 20 years ago, I met a guy by the name of Tom Webb who used to run Torco products, doing all the bait marinising. He actually had a Dunson six cylinder rotary valve, and uh, this is what's given me the inspiration to make one, unfortunately, about 20 years later. Uh, Tom's just on a, you know, 101 years old now, and I think he's still kicking, hopefully. Um, anyway, this is my 347 Windsor motor, 302 straight to 347. Um, the, the heads are all made out of 6061 aluminium. Uh, what do I mean by the rotary, rotary valve? This motor doesn't run any camshafts, valves, rockers, push rods, it's just got one moving part instead of about 140 parts going up and down all the time. Um, with the, uh, I'm still valving the motor, trying to get the oil system right by not having too much oil in the rotors so it smokes too much or not enough so it seizes. Um, so I put these little little one-way valves in the uh, in the system. This is a very small pump pump just here. Pumps from the oil, from the oil pump up to the pump through all these little ten injectors, which lubricate the rotor down in here. The bearings uh, run they run ceramic bearings that I had made up in uh, in China. Around this other. So around here we have a gearbox gearbox made up. The reason for the gearbox is to uh, is so the rotors turn the same direction. If you don't have that gearbox, one rotor is turning this way, and obviously the other one's turning the wrong way. They both have to turn count counterclockwise against each other. Uh, what else can I tell you? Um, later on, when the uh, when the motors develop properly, I had to put in the, my little Fiat Topolino just to take to the drags and to see how it goes. Uh, at a further date, that if it works alright on the dyno, it'll be uh, later on it'll be fuel injected and twin turbo and hopefully push out well over a thousand horsepower. Um, and well, that's about all. So. I'll, I'll just start the motor up. Unfortunately, on the video, the motor sounds like a bucket of bolts, but I can assure you it's a very smooth and quiet running motor. Just the uh, yeah, just the video system. Uh, yeah, the video system doesn't work too well in the way of sound. So uh, coming through here, Eva. Alright, I'll start the motor up and see how we go.